Hi, this is Brock with Straight Line Delivery. I'm going to show you guys today what I look for when I'm picking out a strap for my trucking business. How to, how to cinch up all the loose uh, material at the end so it's not flapping around and dragging the road. And then I'm going to show you where the DOT likes to see it on the trailer. The first thing I look for when I'm in the store trying to buy a strap is if you can zoom in on this. You'll see this one on the right has got an extra piece of metal here. It's rounded. This one does not. And what that does is that protects the strap from having all the tension that you can crank down on from being on a sharp square edge like this one has. Those straps last a lot longer. Um, I don't pay more than about 10 bucks for straps any way you slice it, so you know, why not have them last a lot longer? Uh, the second thing is placement of the J hook. It doesn't matter whether you go through the spacer or whether you go through here. If you've got a trailer that's got a C channel, go through between the rub rail and hook it onto that C channel. And what that rounded piece is doing right there is it's keeping all the pressure from being on a sharp point. You can crank down as hard as you want. You have nothing to worry about. If your trailer is, is a solid piece in here and there's nothing to crank onto, you're better off to turn that upside down and hook it on like that. You can even hook it on like this. I've seen guys do that. The less fabric that shows outside of the rub rail, the better off you are because if you do rub something with this and you cut that fabric, this strap's no longer doing anything. So I like to see all the fabric inside the rub rail if at all possible. That'd be, the, that'd be my second choice right there. The second thing I see guys do is you, uh, you strap down something that's relatively small, then you've got all this fabric left over just hanging out. You got 20 feet of slop. So here's a cool little trick that uh, somebody taught me. You roll it up as tight as you can get it to where your strap's gonna sit, and then you take this outer loop, you pull it loose, okay? And you feed it through the inner loop and then back around the outer. And that's a nice tight, and it can't, no matter what it does, it can't get any further away than this from where the handle is. It's a little trucking tip 101.